I'm here with John Gus, the director of the Textile Heritage Museum. John, what can people see and do on a day trip to Glencoe Mill Village? Sure. So when people come into Glencoe, they can go down to the waterfront where there's some great hiking trails. They can also kayak. Uh, they can enjoy the view over there at the mill dam. Once they come back up into the village, they can come over to the machine shop where we have a visitor center. They can also walk the streets and enjoy all the spectacular restoration work of these historic homes. And then they can come on inside to the Textile Heritage Museum and enjoy all the exhibits and artifacts that we have in there. Oh, if you want to go check it out, we can go on in. Yeah, let's go. This kind of starts us off uh, with the interpretation of, of the beginnings of these mills. Alamance County began with roughly about 10 mills along the Hall River, primarily because the Hall River was the power source. So here we are in the company store of uh, the Glencoe Mill. You know, back, back during the time that this uh, mill was in operation, this was the store where everybody went to get all their clothing, their tools, uh, even medicines. They could even come here and make a phone call if they needed to, but it really started bringing our communities together because so many people had lived out on farms, and so this was really the beginnings of people living in neighborhoods, communities.